Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up, well, just a little bit, 0.08 at the end of the US session. We did fall towards give or take uh, 14, 11, 14, and then rally did again. So we got fairly close to the 20 exponential as we did get fairly close to the 20 exponential down here. So we haven't really tested the 20 exponential, uh, well, for a fairly long time. We have to go all the way back to the beginning of May in order to see where we tested, basically we rallied from the 20 exponential. So at this current stage, uh, technically they are, well, they're still, fairly bullish the macd is still above the signal line but is about to cross the signal line the rsi is flat the cci is flat the the stochastic is bearish and it looks like we are about to to approach the middle of the bullish band but we did see this move before only a few a few trading days ago where we got fairly close to the middle of the bullish band and then rallied from there we are fairly high in the rsi and um rallies from here will most likely find a major resistance at 1424 but if we manage to break above 1424 then we are going to go significantly higher break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the, to the 40 at the 1399 and the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average down here which have proven to be massive support in the last few months so let's look at the us dollar japanese yen and as you can see we continue to uh, basically decline towards the 100 moving average we're down 0.11 percent at this current stage we're approaching the bottom of the bullish band which we have bounced off the last well the last week we have basically bounced from that that point which is roughly at 108 620 uh, 27. if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish the rsi is fairly bullish at this point cci is bearish the stochastic is bearish Momentum is um, definitely to the downside at this current stage. So there are a few points. We ran into resistance as well around this point. And then we have the 100 moving average down at 108.007. Uh, so there is quite a lot of uh, support uh, levels uh, right underneath here. If we manage to break up underneath the 100 moving average, then we could drop down towards the 100 and. 50 moving average down at 106. Break above 109, that could open the door to roughly 110. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied, well, also here, 0.29%. We're approaching 1225, which has been massive uh, resistant in the, in well, the last few trading days. It's based upon uh, the, the resistant level that we need to break through in order to get to 1235 uh, well uh, breakdowns from here we'll find uh, support at the 20 exponential that is roughly at 1214 break below that then we have this resistant line we can increase this a little bit which is roughly at 1210 so there's not a lot of space here just not it's not until we basically break above uh, this resistant line that we're going to have a movement to the upside and uh, there is a lot of support underneath if you were to break uh, below these uh, moving averages then we'll most likely find massive support down here at the 300 moving average which is at 11.88 technical indicators they do kind of favor the downside at this point macd is uh, right on the signal line rsi is uh, bearish the uh, stochastic the cci is um, is um, fairly bullish Stochastic is bearish, and uh, we're just in the middle of the top and the bar and the middle here of the bullish band. So we're right in the middle of nowhere. So we need a clear signal where to go in this uh, currency pair. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar, and uh, we can get rid of most of these things. So we have rallied from the hundred and uh, fairly from the hundred and fifty moving average. We're just trending at the uh, twenty exponential moving average moment at the moment at 0 0.7755 50, uh, technical indicators they are uh, fairly bearish at this point but they are turning around so macd is well underneath the signal line but becoming flat at this point it looks like it's going to um well start to rally 
we have the RSI, which is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is crossing the cyclone here, indicating bullish momentum. So we have been in this, basically in this square for a very long time now. We have to go all the way back to roughly 13 of, uh, of April when we um, got into the square and we have basically been just trading within the square for uh, ever since. So the 115 has been proven to be massive support in this market. We can see it here and here. And also when we got fairly close to it today, and then we rallied. So to the upside, we need to get through these um, resistant levels in order to get towards 0 0.80. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, and it's just more of the same. So we are still in a downtrend. And uh, at this current day, we are not that oversold as we have been. Technically, just do, do kind of turn around. The MACD is still in negative territory, but it has crossed the signal line indicating bullish momentum. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and we are fairly close to the bottom of the bullish band, right between the middle and the bottom of the bullish band. And we are right at this lower support line. So we have seen these moves uh, when we have been to the upside. It has basically been hugging the resistant line for a really long time, and then it breaks down. It kind of looks like we're doing something similar here. If we were to break below these uh, previous lows here, then we can drop significantly uh, lower. But at this current stage, we're stabilizing within this area, and we could see this rally up towards the 50 moving average before then going lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see your new videos, and uh, good luck and thank you very much.